Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to a discussion on plectrum technique for the ukulele. There are many different ways to strike the strings on a ukulele. Perhaps the most common is the traditional method of just using your thumb. Particularly if you're strumming rhythm ukulele, just playing chords like I'm doing now. It's a beautiful soft sound. You keep out of everyone's road and the, the magic of the ukulele can be heard gently in the background. Sometimes we use a combination of the thumb and our fingers, particularly if we're doing more of an arpeggio type of sound, like a piano style, just like that. But today we're talking about using a plectrum or a pick, P-I-C-K. Plectrum is the official name for these little devices. And just about everyone who's ever played a guitar has held a plectrum at one time or another. There are many different ways that people seem to grab a pick, but the correct way is to simply make a cross between your thumb and your index finger, and your plectrum becomes an extension of your index finger. It's that simple. Some people use more fingers to hold the pick, things like that. They'll use their two fingers and the thumb as if they were holding a pen. Not a good idea, because what we want to do is have freedom of our remaining three fingers on our hand, because many a time we might want to hit the bass string with our pick and have our fingers free to strike the other string. So a combination of a strong bass and a softer three notes up the top. It's also the fastest picking technique is to just hold the pick as it was intended. Cross your thumb and your index finger and make that your default way. Now there are two basic picking techniques. One is called down strokes. That's where you strike the string in a downward motion. The opposite is up strokes. That's, as the name suggests, where you do exactly the opposite and you strike the string as your pick is moving up towards you. The best technique to get used to is what is called alternate picking. That's where you alternate between down and up strokes, like this. So like one and two and three and four and, just as if they were quavers, half beat notes. So it's a great idea to put a metronome on, maybe at 100 beats a minute, and think in quavers, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and 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 and so on. Get used to playing at 100 beats a minute as half beat notes. Go up all of your four strings and try and keep your picking steady. You'll find as you go to different strings, there'll be different challenges. It feels a little bit different as you go to the low string compared to the high string. Now just on the plectrum itself, I use and recommend the Fender 351 Heavy Gauge Plectrum. These picks have been around for about 50 or 60 years now. It's the pick I've played all of my career and many legendary guitar players have used the Fender 351 style plectrum as their mainstay to create all of those wonderful bits of music that the great guitar players have played down the years. You can get those from any shops. Don't look for something that's flashy or maybe flimsy or rock hard. My recommendation is the Fender 351 Heavy Gauge Pick. Try it and if you like it, stick with it for the rest of your life or try some other picks that are that basic sort of shape maybe a little heavier or a little lighter depending on the strength of your strumming hand. Now that we've talked about the best type of pick to get and how to hold it, I want to introduce the left hand exercise here where we can combine alternate picking with a good finger exercise for any stringed instrument. Violin doesn't even have to have frets. And the idea is here for each semitone note, in this case here we're on the A string on the ukulele in standard tuning. So we'll just start on the note A sharp or B flat. So we'll call it B flat. B flat, B, C, D flat in that case. 
Don't worry too much about the names of the notes for the moment, but the idea is, is that for each new fret that you put your finger down, you assign one of your four fingers to the first fret, second fret, third and fourth. And for each new note, if you start, you start on a downbeat, then you go on upbeat, downbeat, upbeat, downbeat, upbeat, like this. Then go up a string, up another string, on the fourth string. Slide your hand up a fret and walk your way down the strings. Slide your finger to the next fret. You can see what I'm doing there? I go over this in detail on one of my guitar tutorials, basic warm-up for guitar. I also agree it's the best warm-up or best technique builder for plectrum playing on a ukulele. So just try and do like I'm doing now and get used to being able to do that as far up as you can. Now the ukuleles, this is a tenor ukulele and the fret spacing is reasonably wide on it. If you've got a concert or soprano ukulele, you might really struggle to get much beyond the fifth or the seventh fret to squeeze your fingers in there, depending on the size of your hand. Now finally, strumming chords with a pick is the same concept as we started with when we were just using our thumb. Only this time, the plastic plectrum is striking the string. So we end up with a brighter tone coming out of our ukulele, a more powerful sound, a louder sound, because we've got a harder object exciting the strings. And you can change between chords and lead just like that, all with the plectrum. I'm going to finish this tutorial now by just playing you a swinging little jazz track that I composed for two ukuleles. It features the Cordoba tenor ukulele, but on this track I actually plug this ukulele in, and what you hear is the sound straight out of the pickup, the high quality pickup in this ukulele, straight into my recording console with no adjustment to the equalization. The support ukulele track, the second ukulele player, which is also me featuring the same Cordoba, I run the output from the pickup through the Electro Harmonics B9 organ simulator pedal. This is an amazing effects pedal very easy to use and a very realistic Hammond organ sound. So I hope you enjoy this swinging little jazz track with me, myself and I and the Cordoba tenor ukuleles. Bye for now.